Hello everybody, I'm back again and uh, today it's gonna be a classic salmon fly. I'm gonna do it a bit different. I'm gonna do a single fiber uh, wing. So one color, a single fiber on top of another, etc. Until we build the whole wing and it's gonna look uh, very nice, according to me at least. Uh, so, the pattern of today's childers. Uh, since I need to tie one for a friend of mine and uh, yeah, I want to finish that one so I can send a package. So, I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure to subscribe. Uh, let's begin. So, let's start these shoulders. Uh, a pattern I like uh, a lot, to be honest. It's, it's a nice fly. Nice combination of material. So, first of all, waxing the thread, then add extra small silver tinsel to the back. And I'm still uh, trying a few settings on the camera just to make sure I might be able to use only one. Moving forward, I'm not really satisfied, but at least I need to try it. So, a few wraps of silver tinsel then. Three turns, sufficient. Shifted. So the camera I'm using is a Brio, uh, Logitech Brio 4K stream um, and I'm using this zoom function currently um, but yeah it's not really perfect so I think I might in the next video shift back to my second camera so I use the Brio for sound and intro and end the end part of the video and then I use my smaller Canon camera for close-up better quality video and let's give it a go and if you have any comments please let me know if the quality is bad or you like the New format. So, cutting the leftovers there. Uh, oh, close. I almost cut the the thread. <laughs> Not looking what I was doing. Uh, so, going back again. So, gloves on, but first some blue silk, just going to attach it, secure it properly. It's always great fun to tie flies for good friends. 
And this one I'm going to one of my good friends. So, gloves on. I will always have a little bit of fat on the skin on the hand, so I don't want to ruin the shine of the, the silk. It wraps backwards. again hmm. I think I'm getting old I need to get uh, glasses I think I don't see that much details anymore to be honest Hmm. So, time to go back with the thread. Just removing the gloves. There you see color a bit better I think the video quality of the Canon camera I'm using is much better so in the next video I'm gonna shift back to that one So, next step, tail. Yeah, it's gonna build up a bit of foundation with the thread here. Shilers for myself for next summer's fishing. So, tail time. So, waxing the thread. So I prepared a tail earlier, as you can see. And it turned. So, 
give it a try again. It's a short. I took it from an um, older fly. So I thought I could reuse it, but uh, it's a bit short. So that goes to the bin. So I'm gonna start to look for another one. Let me see what I got. I don't need to have a big one anyhow. Let's see. Yeah, I take that one. So it's cutting the leftovers. Tail secured. So we just cut the front here, remove it. And then we need to have Indian Crow and then Ostrich Herd. in place Place. And then we have the ostrich hurl, so then I change to black wax. Return according to me, I like it. Sometimes you are lucky to find nice herbs. I 
flexing the thread a bit more. Hopefully. It's been a while since I've tied classic salmon flies, as you can see. Doesn't really go as it normally does. tool clamps a bit too hard so it's easy to break those to churn how deep breath count to ten that's a bit too loose let me move that away a bit. I'm just making it harder than it should be. Oh, you see? Come on. Because I don't want to put too much pressure on it because then it will break. Securing it. And it's time for tinsels. As you see, I'm not as picky with the thread. In this case, I use a yellow one. It doesn't matter. Preferable, I use only white, but yeah, I have a few other colors to use instead of throwing them away. So, flat silver tinsel and a twist. one first.
using a twisted, uh, let me see, there's the camera, silver tinsel. So, some banks again. Securing that as well. A few tight wraps over. And then we have yellow floss. But I prepared them already. Just tying that one in here. again since we need to work with the floss so backwards again. I don't have much tighter wraps. So, yeah, the contrast and everything is not really good. So, promise next video i use two cameras i think that uh, is better quality wise
So, cutting the leftover silk. There we are. Since I can't focus this camera, because the yeah, woohoo! There we are. Not easy. Everything is backwards, but that that's really in focus, but not the fly. It's okay, but not not good. That's why I will change. So, Hackel. Badger, badger dyed yellow. So, I'm just going to prepare the feather. And by doing it, I double the, the Hackel. This is uh, things I normally prepare before, but uh, yeah, I got some free time today, so I just wanted to uh, go down and tie a fly. No preparations, just tying. There we are. So, we have to tie this one in as well. And it's time for Seafra Orange and Fairy Brown. Just tying in the heckle so it stays there. And that one I can remove. A few tighter wraps so I know it will stay. Here we start with the silver orange. Adding a bit more should be equal to the yellow silk. Okay. 
but I'm gonna make it a bit more brushy. adding a bit to the thread I want to be able to brush it out later now you see the body coming together It's beautiful, it's fishy. Three hackles on this one. First, the body hackle, and then it's pheasant breast feather, and then in front of that, vision. So you want to leave room for that as well. Not tying too close to the beginning of the hook but not a little as well and it would look uh, pretty bad but I, I think we start there so first of all tinsel
go. Second tinsel. that on off as well. And time for the hacker. off with an extra turn of that icon. Nice full body. So, pheasant breast feather, golden pheasant, of course. Um, so, I'm just expanding uh, the fibers Let's first of all waxing the thread in not too many turns now because we need to have an, another hack here And the fibers backwards. And I'm thinking about two turns. That's that's all we got, I think. Yeah. 
So just securing that one. It wraps. So it's blending in nice. You see a little bit of darker color in there. Then the front tackle. Waxing the thread again. fibers backwards and then just tying it in there we go start to look like a salmon fly. Lovely. a bit separates the fibers yeah because I don't want to have the long ones up here because they're gonna set the wing there of course so the body is done time to build the wing I will build the wing offline otherwise the, the movie is gonna be way too long so I will start again when it's time to set the wing and everything else see you soon guys time to set the wing in the middle um, that would be uh, this lovely feathers been working on them a little bit so now it's time to tie them in so it's a piece, uh, golden pheasant uh, breast feathers so nothing strange with that
example i want to have a low low one so you can see it and we succeeded with that so i'm pleased just need to pull down the, the hacker Just gonna cut the one fiber here. There we are. And to make sure it stays where it is, I'm gonna put a little bit of varnish there. And uh, I'm gonna wait for a little bit uh, for the varnish to dry and mix with the wax so it's secure. We are ready to mount the wing. I'm gonna show you how I built the wings. I did the single fiber uh, except on the top. It's a bit more um, Florican feathers. Just to give it a nice look. Here's one size. So you see in the top it's more, but in the rest of the wing is one, 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 one of everything on top of each other. So let me just take both of them. There we are. Oh, left and right is the opposite. So. This wing we're gonna uh, mount uh, on the fly when the, when the varnish has uh, dried. Just need to work a bit with the feather. Going on. So I'm going to wax the thread and then prepare the ne next step. That would be buried summer duck and shatter and a topping and then 
horns, my cow. I took the freedom to just add the buried summer duck on the sides. So, here it is. Just gonna adjust a little bit in, in the height. So it's time to add these Katinka sites. I'm using a substitute. Okay. Let's see. There they are. So it's going to cut a little bit more on this one. I'm doing the same on my side. Next one is uh, to add the topping. I'm not sure I'm gonna put horns on. I don't think horns look uh, look nice. To be honest, I might uh, skip that. So final step, uh, adding the topping. I decided not to use the horns, as I mentioned earlier. Bend it a bit. Ramps of waxed thread just to secure it. And then I'm gonna finish off the hair, the varnish, those kind of things. 
So, the fly is done, as you see here. Um, child, there's a nice pattern. Um, give it a try yourself. Um, this fly I tied uh, for a body of me, uh, mine, sorry. Uh, Graham Cully, also a fantastic hook maker. Um, I got a few of his hooks here. Uh, so the next challenge will be uh, to tie on one of those. Uh, just to give you a quick view. So fantastic, yeah, nice finish. Good, uh, really good uh, hook. I like it a lot. So I got a few from him, and so I'm gonna do a video tying on those uh, shortly. But first, I need to uh, do a fly for a fly magazine. Um, that's gonna be really interesting. Um, I'm thinking about doing a silver grey pattern. I like as well. So I hope you enjoyed uh, this video and. Uh, uh, yeah, we're gonna see more videos coming shortly. Um, so make sure to subscribe. Um, need more subscribers uh, to to boost the channel. So if you haven't subscribed yet, uh, make sure to do that. I would be very happy. And uh, if any comments, just add them uh, in the in this uh, video, and I uh, will answer as soon as possible. So that's it for today. Take care. Bye. Life is so easy. You love me to pieces. I need it. Won't you bend them on?